Hello everyone, welcome back to Talented Developer. In the last tutorial, we have added our LDAP user. So in this video, we are going to retrieve all the users. So what we can do, just go to your Java code. And this is our REST controller. Here we need to create a new API that will return all the list of users. So what you can do, just copy this one and change as get all users public. So it will return the list of users. So definitely we have to use return as a list and in the list what we have to pass so if you remember in the last tutorial we have created our pojo class that is called ldap user and here i am using just four parameter you can customize as for your requirement so you can copy this one and you can copy this one and you can just give the function name here like get all users and you can import so if you remember we have created a new class that is called ldap service here we are going to keep all the function related to ldap operation so what you can do just come here and you can copy this one. So what we have to do now, just use your LDAP template dot search. So you can see they have so many search. You can pass different different parameter as for your requirement. But in our case, we are just going to use three parameter. First one will be here name base. Second will be filter and third one will be attribute mapper. So what will be our base? You can see this user. This user is actually inside the OU equal to users and this organization unit inside the OU equal to system. That's why we have created one base DN. So you can copy this one and you can put it. And if you remember in the last tutorial, we have added the user. So we have given here object class like inet org person. You can also cross check here. This is here inet org person. So we have to give filter like object class equal to inet org person. So you can copy this one. Now just use object class equal to inet org person. So if you open this one, right? So you can see here the third parameter is what attributes mapper and this attribute mapper to use for translating each entry. That means it will behave like a for loop. So now what we have to create one attribute mapper. So you can copy this one and it will be type of our LDAP user and we can give our object name here attributes and just use your arrow function. So now what will be happen? We are going to iterate each element. Now you can import. So you can see here it is showing here this method must return a result of type LDAP user. So now we have to create one object of LDAP user and we'll try to return. So just copy this one. So we have created our here LDAP user. Now we will try to add all the value whatever we'll get from the attributes. So just come here and type LDAP user dot set cn so we have to set our cn so just come here and copy this one attributes and type here attribute dot get cn dot get to a string so you can see here i am not checking here any null point you can please check otherwise it might be break so similarly let's try to add all the attributes so you can see here i have added here sn uid and user password and uid that means i am treating here ldap username here as a uid now try to return ldap user so if you open this one right you can see it is also returning here type of list only so now what you can do just use here return so this is one function in this function we are using ldap template dot search and in this search we are passing our base dn base dn means here o equal to users and o equal to system that means please try to go to that location and get all the details so what kind of details we are saying here object class equal to inet org person that means we need to filter on the basis of organization person so how it will try to iterate it will try to iterate like attributes mapper and this attribute mapper is a type of LDAP user and this LDAP user we have created it is our model or I can say it is a POJO class and here you can set all the attributes so we have CN, SN, username and password and please try to match with this you can see here this is a key CN, SN, UID, user password if you try to give wrong definitely you will get an error so our function is ready now what we can do just come here so here we have to use that LDAP services function. So first of all, we need to inject that service class. So use your auto wire. You can import that class. Now just try to return here. LDAP services dot get all users. So this is our function. So our API is ready. Now you can shut down the server and try to restart again. 
so try to log in and our api name is here get all users so copy this one so you can see here here we are getting white label page error that means definitely we have done something mistake so what is a mistake i will tell you exactly so let's maximize this one so i just told you try to make sure all the user having these kind of attribute so in our case so if you remember our first user when we have done ldap authentication we have not added uid here but you can see cn sn user password is there and here also you can see each parameter is there but in this scenario we don't have uid so now let's try to add one uid and give the value as here one so here you can see this is having uid equal to one and uid two uid three now just refresh now we are able to get all the users so let's try to cross verify open first user so you can see here cn equal to here ram sn equal to kumar password you cannot see it is encrypted here username equal to one username that means here uid so you can see we are getting perfectly but it is not perfectly arranged in a table so in the next video we are going to arrange all the user in a table using theme list so that's it for the day bye